Welcome fire signs and thank you for being here today. This is your weekend love message commencing Friday the 11th of December through to Sunday the 13th of December 2020. I've already pulled your crowning messages and your crowning wisdom messages. Let's have a look fire signs. Okay, so your first crowning message is hummingbird spirit be here now and bat spirit a rebirth is assured okay fire signs what i am picking up at this time is that you're being guided um, to be in the here and now you may be um your eye may have caught somebody new um or you may be seeing um new death depths, new layers of um, a relationship that probably you didn't expect um, this weekend. And I feel as though um, you're being guided to not focus so much on the future, but to focus on the flower that's in front of you, um, not what's behind you and not what's further down the line it's as though you're being guided to just be present and to enjoy what you see is blossoming um, with the person that you're thinking about that could be somebody completely new or it could be an existing relationship that you've just seen something a little bit different that is kind of a bit of an aha moment like oh okay that's that surprised me a little bit with the bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. I feel as though this very much um, resonates with the hummingbird spirit. This is where spirit divine universe is coming in and reshaping um, your current love life, um, your current relationship. If you are seeking um, a, a new romance or somebody has caught your eye, I feel as though that a rebirth is happening within your romantic life. And this person that you're thinking about may be somebody to focus on at this time with that hummingbird spirit. It's as though it's now time to leave the past. Look at that flower there behind that um, hummingbird. And I feel the bat spirit is saying it's time to leave the past in the past and focus on the future. Something has closed out fire signs and something new is being re reborn with that bat spirit and that could be a new relationship the same principle i feel applies if this is an existing relationship you may have seen something or a gesture um something different it's as though you you've reached a, another layer of the person that you're thinking about and it's as though maybe past behaviours or gestures, it's time to leave that in the past and focus on the future because I feel as though that divine spirit universe is coming in and totally reshaping this relationship. I kind of feel to your heart's desire. Okay, looking at your crowning wisdom message, fire signs, milk and honey, and all that glitters. Now, the Milk and Honey card is one of my favourite cards in this deck because look at that rainbow um, and, and look at this, the, the elephant, yeah, this elephant um, just basking in that milk and, and honey, basically. And I feel as though um, this weekend's fire signs, you are going to feel like you are basking in in milk and honey. It's as though the sensuality, the connection, you're just both just totally aligned, um, you and the person that you're thinking about. And I feel as though the rainbow has most definitely come out, particularly if this is an existing relationship where you have seen a new development, a new growth. Um, and it's it's almost as if you've got a bit of a spring in your step, um, almost as though you're seeing the rainbow um, come out um, in this connection. With all that glitters, now this I kind of feel is a little bit of um, be aware, uh, fire signs, to perhaps look beyond the mask 
either yourself or the person that you're thinking about may be wearing a bit of a mask at the moment, may be saying all the things that you want to hear. You may be saying all the things they want to hear. But I feel as though Divine Spirit Universe is coming in and asking you to look deeper um, to all that glitters because sometimes what glitters, what we are told, what people think we want to hear, um, may not really be going on um, beneath, you know, really within their soul, within their heart. So I feel that even though you may be feeling as though you are reveling in the milk and honey of this relationship, whether it's new or existing, I feel as though um, you're being guided to either take down your mask or to see through another's mask. Okay, um, fire signs, if this message is resonating with you already, please click the thumbs up on this video so that it can be pushed out to um, uh, other fire signs that may be seeking some advice and support and guidance at this time. Um, and I also would welcome you to subscribe to the channel so that you know when I am uploading. Let's get into your messages, fire signs. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekend commencing Friday the 11th of December through to Sunday the 13th of December 2020. What is their current energy, spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically, towards Aries, Leo and Sagittarius that we're allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All righty. Okay. All right, let's focus our energy on Aries, first of all. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. First card out is the two of pentacles, Aries. Thank you. And we have the three of wands. And let's have a look at Leo. Thank you. Strength. So Leo, you're popping up in, let's put Leo down here. Whoops. Those fell out of my hand, Leo. So let's uh, do that one again. Thank you. And we have the chariot. And for Sagittarius, my angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. Have we come out with two? Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So we have seven of pentacles and the ace of swords for Sagittarius. Okay. All right. So first out the bat um aries um we have got the two of pentacles and the three of wands i feel as though at this time the person that you're connecting to is feeling a little bit unbalanced um now this unbalancing could be to do with their emotions but it also could mean it also could represent um, Aries that they're feeling a little bit unbalanced with work. They may be given a lot of time and energy um, to work and not giving enough time um, to their personal life. But I feel if you look at the image of this lady that looks unbalanced in the two of pentacles, she's smiling and it's almost as though she knows um, that, you know, she's in for a, she's in for a good ride with you. I feel, um, Aries, excuse the pun. Um, I feel as though she's looking and seeing that they need to be in the here and now and that they may be going through a rebirth. And I feel with the three of wands, they are waiting, 
waiting and watching to see what your next move is going to be, um, waiting and watching to see when you're going to be arriving in. You may be living at a distance, um, Aries, from this person. And I feel as though they're, it's like they're waiting for their ships to come in. You may seriously be across the waters or different locations. But I feel as though this person is recognising that they need to balance out um, perhaps the time that they're spending for work um, and the time that they are giving you. And I feel that they are being guided to be in the here and now with you. Leos, for you, you have the Strength and Chariot card. Leo, um, the Strength card is your major arcana and you are appearing in this, um, in your in your love message. And I feel as though the person that you are connected to sees that you are strong, um, sees that you are courageous. And I feel as though they see see that there is reciprocated love between the two of you. I feel as though you both do love each other quite a lot and I feel that this is an existing relationship. It's as though they recognise that um, you can calm them, you can tame them um, and you may feel the same way about them but because it's your major arcana coming up, for you, Leo, I would say that that's how they see you as somebody that can tame them, somebody that understands them. And I feel as though with the chariot card, um, if you notice, you've got one dark horse and one light horse. I feel as though they recognise that there are differences between the two of you, but it's as though they, how can I put it? It's not that they don't care. I feel as though they just know that the love that you have between each other outweighs the differences between you between you and I feel as though that they do want to rush in this weekend and just just be in your energy space to be honest for Sagittarius we have the seven of pentacles and the um ace of swords I feel as though um oh sorry I'm just being guided to pick up Leo once more I feel as though when they um, come in, um, Leo, that you may be guided um, to see between the, the glitter, see between the mask, even though they know that you understand them and you get them and that you can tame them. I feel as though this difference between the two of you, whatever it is, um, I feel as though you're being guided to see beyond the mask when they come rushing in. But in terms of for all of you, I feel as though the person that you are connecting with most definitely um, sees you as their milk and honey. That that rainbow, um, yeah, that, hun that, that milk and honey at the end of the rainbow. For Sagittarius, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. I feel as though the person that you are connecting um, with Sagittarius um, is realising and recognising that uh, they need to be in the here and present as, as well. In terms of there's been a lot of nurturing um, maybe that you've put into this relationship and I feel as though that they want to come in and speak their truth. And if they don't, look at that pentacle on the floor. They may feel that they will lose you. Um, again, I feel as though this is a current relationship. Um, and if you notice that this lady's basket is empty, it's almost as though they may be asking themselves, you know, do I um, meet Sagittarius halfway? You know, they've put in the work. Maybe they've felt they've put in the work um, and they're at that kind of last stage of do I really bring this into union or do I walk away from it? Um, if I walk away from it, maybe I will lose that pentacle. They may lose something with you. Um, but she doesn't look too 
you know, she's kind of like looking quite intently, like I'm not sure what to do. And I do feel it is to do with some sort of truth that they do want to speak before they make that decision, whether or not they bring this relationship into union. And for me, I feel as though that this particular um, person, Sagittarius, is probably going through a bit of a rebirth. This is an example that the relationship of the person that you're thinking about that resonates with this message, I feel as though um, Spirit Divine Universe is absolutely reshaping this, um, but some truth needs to be spoken. And I feel that you just need to be aware that whatever is spoken to see behind the mask, see behind what, what you're being told. But as again, for all of the fire signs, I feel that your your people that are coming in, they most definitely see you as that milk and honey at the end of the rainbow. Let's get some clarifiers. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify? Thank you. OK, so for Aries, we have the five of swords. Thank you. We have the um, nine of cups. Please, can you clarify how does the soulmates of, oh, okay, that's gone right over there. And Aries, uh, you've got the emperor that's come out, which is your major arcana. So I definitely feel that this person is strongly waiting on you to come in. Oops, sorry about that, Aries. Just kicking my camera there. Just refocus you. Okay, and your final card. Yeah, we've got the uh, Six of Swords. Sorry, the Four of Swords. Can't count. Okay, so Aries, I feel as though the person that you are connecting to whatever imbalance they are going through I, I i definitely feel that they're recognizing they need to be in the here and now and i feel as though spirit divine universe is um it's as though this relationship or the person that you're thinking about is is going through a bit of a transformation recognizing that actually they need to balance out their work and their personal lives and i feel that they want to put whatever has stopped them coming forward put it behind them and fight for this connection and i feel as though that they see you as their happiness their wish fulfillment for sure somebody that is strong a leader um, somebody that might be a bit controlling, might have a bit of an ego, um, uh, Aries, which, you know, let's, let's be fair is, is, is a, a fair trait of, of Aries, but I feel, I, I don't see it in a negative way because it's right next to, um, the nine of cups. I feel as though they almost admire you. Um, they admire your leadership. They may uh, admire what you've achieved and, um, you know, where you're going in life. And I feel as though they are totally focused on you or they're being guided to be focused on you. And I feel as the, the, the pull that they have towards you, they do want to meet you. They're waiting on you. And so if you are at a distance, Aries, I feel as though um, they are most definitely waited to, waiting to see you face to face. They may be um, resting their monkey mind. So uh, uh, Aries, if you are a little bit controlling um, or you have a bit of an ego, I feel as though you're being guided to drop that mask. Um, but I feel as though they may spiritually pick that up. And I feel as though they're trying to kind of balance out in their mind the best way to approach you when when they actually meet you, see you. And under the circum current circumstances, um, you know, our climate across the world, it may not be so easy for you to be in the same um, in the same city, same location, even the same home. 
um, if this is not uh, somebody that you are actually living with. If it is somebody that you're living with, I, I feel as though they're waiting. Um, they may be waiting for a change, um, really thinking about um, the relationship, wanting to hold on to it. And whatever has gone on, maybe poor communication with the sortie, I feel as though they're trying to put that behind them and balance out this connection. It most definitely feels as though this person is, is most definitely going through some sort of rebirth, recognising um, that they need to kind of focus on the here and now and be with you in the present. They most definitely see you as that um, wish fulfillment, um, which kind of echoes that nine of cups here. But you, I feel that this is, is for you actually, Aries, that if you are a little bit controlling, have a little bit of an ego, then um, I feel as though you're being guided to take down that mask and, and show your true authentic self. Um, you could also, Aries, be dealing with another Aries, somebody that has Aries in their chart. Um, yeah, that's the only major arcana that's come out here. So if that is the case, then um, Aries, you may have to see behind the mask um, because they could be somebody that is quite controlling um, and have a bit of an ego. But I feel as though... Overall, the message for this weekend is very, very positive for you. I feel as though they are waking up to realise they need to be in the here and present with you. And if they are giving a lot of time to work and not enough time to this relationship, they're putting that behind them, really thinking about it. Um, and this is about rebirth as well, which echoes the bat spirit. OK, let's have a look at Leo. So let's just put these on top here so we've got a bit more space. OK, and let's put Leo up here. OK, can we see those clearly? Let's just pop those on top there like that. There we go. All right, my angels and spirit, thank you. So the first card we have out is Justice. Okay, so either this person wants reconciliation. So you guys may be at a distance from each other. You may be married. Um, they may feel that this is a soul contract um, with you, um, Leo, for sure. Let's get some more cards. Please, can you clarify how does... Thank you. Ah, oh, look at that. And we've got the Ten of Cups. This person most definitely sees you as their wish fulfillment. And they're thinking about you constantly. And one more card, please. One more card. Thank you. Yep. And they want to fight for this connection. OK, it's quite interesting how similar um, Aries and Leo is. I feel as though this person, um, either you're in separation or you're not quite together. And I feel as though they do want to rush in um, and reconcile with that justice card. Oh, let's have, let's just pop these up here because I don't think you can see that properly. Can we go down a little bit? Okay, let's pop this up here. There we go. That justice card, um, I feel as though the, this person that you're connecting with, you could be married to this person with the justice card there, um, or they may feel that there's a soul contract with you specifically because you've come out um, in your crowning, uh, for your crowning card. Uh, I feel as though this person feels that you are their happy ever after. You are their wish fulfillment. And there may be differences between the two of you. Um, and I feel that they do want to rush in because they see that you understand them. They want to reconcile if you're in separation because you are their wish fulfillment. With that four of cups, I feel as though this person is thinking about you on a daily basis. And they do want to fight for this connection. Um, uh, Leo, for sure, with that uh, seven of uh, wands. I feel as though there's there's something um, within this connection. I feel that, and I feel again um, for you also, uh, Leo. There may be a mask that you need to take down um, and let this person in, 
or it could be vice versa. Um, either one of you, I feel as though there's a bit of a separation because this person wants to rush in. Um, they're thinking about you daily. They recognise that you are their wish fulfilment. That I feel as though they're trying to be in the here and now with you, going through a bit of a transformation, wanting to fight for this connection. They see you most definitely as their milk and honey, but it's as though one of you or both of you may need to take down this mask and actually really see each other for who you are. Um, however that resonates with you, Leo, I, I will leave that with you, but just know, I feel as though this person is most definitely going through a rebirth um, a different way of thinking, um, but they most definitely want you in their life for sure. And for Sagittarius, we have the Queen of Wands. Let's move these down slightly. We have the Queen of Wands. Whoops. We have the Eight of Cups. Wow, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. And one more, please, for Sagittarius. How does the Soulmates of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, feel towards them? Weekend commencing Friday the 13th of December. Friday the 11th of December through to Sunday the 13th of December 2020. Thank you. Ah, oh, look. And we've got the Six of Cups. Okay, um, Sagittarius, I feel as though this person that you are connecting to sees you as somebody that has that Queen of Wands energy. Um and I feel as though they, they recognise you as somebody that's quite vibrant, quite free-spirited, um, quite passionate, um, quite action-orientated. And like I said, with that seven um, of pentacles up here, um, yeah, the seven of pentacles, I feel as though they they don't know what to, they don't know what to do with you. Um, I feel that all the seeds of this relationship has um, been planted, but I don't know whether or not they're feeling as though they are guided to walk away from this and go towards something different. Um, maybe the mask in this relationship. Sagittarius has come down and they're not quite sure. They're not quite sure how to progress. They may want to walk away from this, um, but I feel as though um, by speaking their truth, um, which I feel is fated because they do see you, this is somebody that you have lived many, many lives together. And I feel that that's what the quandary that they're in at the moment, they're most definitely going through a massive rebirth um, in this connection. I feel like trying to be in the here and now, recognising that actually a lot of nurturing, a lot of effort has gone into this connection with you. Either you might be feeling like you need to walk away and they may be recognising it. And as part of that, they want to speak their truth, let down that mask, let you know that you are their milk and honey. And I feel that it is a fated connection. I mean, with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel as though having lived past lives together, they're, they're feeling quite nostalgic, quite there's something about you that really tugs at their heartstrings and it's because you have lived past lives. And I feel that whatever truth that needs to be spoken, Sagittarius, it is absolutely fated. And I feel that part of that is to trigger a rebirth, a transformation um, in this relationship. Okay, fire signs, let's have a look at your individual advice. My angels and spirit guides are busy divine please can you tell me your advice for Aries Leo and Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus in love weekends commencing Friday the 11th of December through to Sunday the 13th of December 2020 
that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Okay, so first card out is Aries. Then we have Leo and one more, please. One more, thank you, for Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, Aries, your advice that's coming in says, believe in your own inner power. You have what it takes to achieve your goals. So you know what? Aries, if you are um, unsure uh, how this person is feeling about you because of this imbalanced energy that they have about you, I feel as though um, trust in your own inner power um, that this connection is going through a rebirth. I feel as though this person is really, really waking up to balancing out sort of work and, you know, the time that they spend with you. And I feel that they are putting that behind them, um, wanting to fight for this connection. I feel as though they are really thinking about um, being with you um, because you are their happiness. So I feel as though, um, Aries, the advice that's coming in is to be really mindful of your thoughts and trust in your inner intuition your inner power of, of what is it you really want with this connection um, because you, your thoughts, your intentions, your manifestations, your prayers, your imagination, what goes on in your thoughts is what you are putting out there. So I feel as though your, your advice is to, um, you know, if you want this to come together, Trust in your own inner power and you will achieve the goals um, that you want to achieve with this person. Leo, your advice is finding a feather is a sign your guardian angels are by your side. So, um, Leos, I feel as though this is uh, kind of letting you know that if you are in separation, you may be looking for signs um, synchronicities, um, however divine spirit universe um, speaks to you in their own special way, you may be looking for those signs and synchronicities. And I feel as though they're coming in to let you know they are right beside you, particularly if you are in separation with that justice card there. This person does want to reconcile with you. They are thinking about you um, quite heavily and they do want to fight for this connection. And you may be um, in a situation, uh, Leo, where you're not sure what the next action is to take. And I feel as though um, they will give you a sign um, or synchronicity or something to let you know, and uh, to let you know that they're guiding you every step of the way with this. And it may literally be a feather. It could be an image of a feather. But just know that, you, that I feel as though they're asking you to be in the here and now. Focus on this particular um, connection, this particular flower, because actually you, you don't really need to go anywhere else, basically, because that's what the hummingbird is all about. You may also be going through a rebirth, um, maybe a mask you've been wearing for a long time has finally come down um, and maybe you're realising that this person is your milk and honey. Um, and you may be really uncertain about it because with that justice card, this person wants to reconcile, which tells me that you are in separation. So I feel as though, um, well, just like Aries, be mindful of what you're thinking, manifesting, setting those intentions. Um, and if you are seeking guidance um, from your spirit team, from your angels, um, all you need to do is ask. All you need to do is answer them and they will let you know um, if you're going down the right path with this person. Sagittarius, your advice message is simplify your life and the answer you seek will appear. Now, that's really interesting because the person you are connecting to 
evidently knows that a lot of work and energy and nurturing has gone into this connection. But I do feel either you or them want to walk away from this. Um, but somebody needs to speak their truth. And you know what, Sagittarius, it may be you. It may be you speaking your truth, taking down that mask, um, accepting a rebirth, a reshaping of this connection. And I feel as though if it has been um, quite um, challenging for you um, as to, you know, because I, I do believe that if, somebody's not really in a relationship with you um and this is for anybody if if someone's not really in it um you you kind of pick it up you really do pick it up um and that is what you may be picking up and you may want to speak your truth they may want to speak your tr um their truth you may be feeling that you want to walk away and i feel as though by keeping things real real simple um, you will find the answer that you seek. It will appear because this connection or this truth within this connection is most definitely fated. And I feel that that is what will appear. The answer to the situation around this particular connection, if somebody wants to walk away, which might be you, Sagittarius, um, the, the answer will appear to you. It's as though um, yeah, you need to kind of see behind the mask um, with this particular situation. Focus on the here and now and focus on what's in front of you um, as opposed to what is behind you. Um, and I feel as though that you you will you you'll find the answer. But I feel the answer is in speaking truth in some shape, form or another. OK, fire signs, I'm going to leave that there um, for you. Um, once again, if you found this um, this message resonating with you, please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video so that the video can get pushed out to other fire signs out there. Um, if you would like to um, know when I'm uploading, um, please feel free to subscribe. Um, it supports the channel but also it helps you know when um, I'm uploading. It will send you, you know, uh, it will send you notifications of when I am uploading. I'd also check out um, uh, Fire Signs, your Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Um, you may find some more interesting information. Also check out um, uh, my Instagram uh, if you wish to follow me. All details are down below in the description box. Until uh, next weekend, uh, Fire Signs, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye bye.